but it'll be very pain painful. Okay. Okay. You sound Libra, obviously. <laughs> and then, okay, your moon is in Capricorn, which means you had to grow up fast and get your own car. No one helped you. Probably. Is that true? Like your parent, your mama? Drive. Like your mom? Okay, well then, there you go. <laughs> well, like, I have a motorcycle either way, you had to be on a daddy to your mom, probably. I don't know. Your cancer rising, so you just come off as a mothering, nursing person. Yeah. And, um, the, right, right away, like when people meet you, like right away, like cancer mother. Right? And that's your cancer sign, right? So, and, um, and then, like, your 10th house is, okay, your fourth house is in Virgo, which means your mother might have been really critical of you and she taught you how to do all your chores and you were OCDC at home and wanted to be clean anyways. Yeah. At yeah. home, you're more an order, but in the pelvic field, you're like this Pisces, nice, compassionate person, and you want to point out everything that's miserable, and you're, like, really sweet to everybody because you are. <laughs> you have 10th house Pisces, like me. Thank you. Hi. And it makes you psychic as fuck, by the way, probably. Thank you. And then, um... Your third house is in Leo, so when you wake up, you wake up with like wine. But when you go to bed, Bridget. it's like no. you are excited when you go to bed and you want to know everything before no. you go to bed or something like that. And you're just mental when you go to bed. And then when, yeah. you, wake, when you wake up, you become this narcissist and you almost act like you're a narcissist for fun. But not really. You're not a narcissist. But you know what I mean? Like when people, when you talk, people listen, I guess. You grab audience. Yeah. So do I, I think, yeah. <laughs> but not on purpose. Yeah, but, I'm not. And did I not buy me that soda? I said I was gonna buy me. Um, sure. I'm not no, sure. I don't think I did. Yo, you Saturn. If I get a glass of water. Your Saturn is in Capricorn, which means uh That's stuff. Right. You're in your Saturn turn right now. And I can't tell what your little is in. You know what? Your Venus. Not first time I broke something. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I didn't break down, I just bumped it. Hot, Aren't you just the cutest thing ever? You have. Why aren't you just the cutest thing ever? You can get on the couch. Hmm? She's, 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 get on the couch. she's not Come allergic. On. Come on. She's hypoallergenic. Oh, you need me to pick you up, baby? There you Let's go. Let's see. I can't even tell what this looks like. I don't know, but I'm trying to look for your being. Okay, your eighth house is in Aquarius. That's how you're going to die. I don't really remember how to explain that right now, but like Venus is what you mean. Your Venus, your Venus is inside chairs, so you would travel to a foreign land to go be with your lover. And that's what you're doing now. Okay? And it means that you want to learn everything and just suck the life out of learning everything, and then you want to keep things moving. You don't want to stay stagnant with somebody. Right. If they don't want to keep moving on forward with you, you're right. going to, you already got backup plans. Oh, yeah. Corners <laughs> and traveling. That's what your Venus inside chairs is. It's like, Air a little mermaid being an inconsiderate bitch, leaving her family and her best friend fish, and didn't even consider taking it with her to go meet this douchebag, uh, shallow cancer son who doesn't like talk very much, and she'll, he just accepts you and cuddles you with uh, f sweets and stuff, and without you talking because you know shallowness. But like, yeah, so you go out to go with the foreign learn to go with Eric because you're Air little motherfucking mermaid gambling with life and stuff like that, and leaving everyone else behind like a bitch. <laughs> inconsiderate, <laughs> inconsiderate, whatever. And then your your Mars is your sexual expression, how you get mad at other people, but I can't find it. Oh, your Jupiter's in Cancer. This means you could turn anyone into a family. You can just pick someone out and be like, you want to be my family now? And the mother nourish you in, and it, yeah. everyone thinks that it's you're their family. family. Like, that's how lucky you can be. Like, you can turn anybody into a home. Like, you can create anybody to live with you to be your family, like, right away. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. good at that. I'm I don't need to be good, but I am. Right, but you are. Isn't that so cool? You just turn everyone into your freaking family. You little crab. Sometimes it's kind of irritating, but... Uh, it's irritating to me, because I'm mad about it. No, I'm just like... <laughs> wow, that's cool. But in your Mars... Oh, your Mars is in Libra, so you don't like confrontation, but you'll just complain about people behind their back or something like that. You're not really going to, um, like, all of a sudden just have an outspurt and get mad really quick like me because <laughs> i'm mars and aries that's a polarity of yours and also if having mars and libra kind of makes you to where you don't want to have like a one night stand you want to bond with the person and you want to make sure that you're dating and that you're like dating material to that well, person. i don't know about that because that's how this baby happened is a one night stand but <laughs> okay well that was more i didn't say no <laughs> but right. 
because I kind of wanted to, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I also thought I couldn't get pregnant. So okay. it's all natural. <laughs> it was a complete accident. <laughs> wow. That's What's cool. the best accident that's ever happened to me? Oh, that's sweet. Yep. Your Mercury's in Virgo. That's how you think and communicate. So you're very analytical when we talk and stuff. I don't know. So it's like that. You're probably good with money and know how to sell things or something. <laughs> I mean, I can sell stuff sometimes. See? Mercury and Virgo. And, um, like, uh, hypnotizing people. <laughs> I was told I hypnotize people. Bitch, I'm calm, please. <laughs> so I thought. So I'm mad about it. <laughs> your Saturn's in Capricorn, so, like, you have power and you're supposed to let go of it because it'll give you power and take it away from you. Like, if you climb up to the top of the ladder, social climb ladder, and you use one little pebble of a person, it'll be like Jenga and take it all away from you and you have to all over. Bitch, you better recover that with your power. Okay? And that's how your dad was. I don't know. Was more disciplined on you or something and hardworking or some bullshit. I have no clue. Like a father is. Be a sad. Oh, hi. <laughs> Saturn Capricorn. Well, um... Uh-huh. Let's see here. All three of my dads were abuses. Wow. All three of them? My biological, my first step dad. Okay. Yeah. They're on houses and stuff. I don't know. Oh, you're probably a good writer. I suck. Like, totally good writer. Because your Mercury's in the third house and it's in Virgo. Like, you're probably a good publisher. Do you have a regular cigarette? I don't. I had to bone that one that I did have. Oh, okay. So what about that, huh? You good writer? I'm gonna call Alan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You good writer? <laughs> I'm a good writer. I can. I, I used to write a poem that would make you cry, and then turn around and make you. Well. Laugh. Exactly. Aw. Yes. <laughs> Expressive, and you're. Turn around and make you scared of me. <laughs> like my mama. Well, Leo's are. Scary. I'll make sure you get it back. I just set mine down. I mean, I'm not really worried about it. I got like three of them. Oh, and your Venus is also in the fifth house, which means that you're very generous hearted in a relationship and you like to like make an event happen to where like they'll always remember your dates and shit and you'll probably make um, love song CDs for them or something probably. Oh yeah, sounds like me. I'm a romantic at heart. Right, totally exotic place. For that oh, placement to be. Get the belly, get the belly, get the belly. So cool. Get the belly, get the belly, get the belly. What are you jealous? Come here. Do you know numerology numbers very well? No. <laughs> okay, because I don't remember what this one is. I don't know. Jupiter in the house of X11 one, one or something, whatever that is. <laughs> numerology crap. I don't know about astrology. Uh, I think that's the eighth, eighth. That's the eighth house. I think that means you're a psychic freaking medium, I and mean, you see spirits, right? What's your testimony? I can't see spirits, but I know that they're there. I can right. See them. You can see them eventually if you. I don't know. I mean, eventually, Let's yeah. See. I mean, I, I see evidence of them all the time. Yes. I can feel them. Well, there you go. That's a psychic medium in an indicator. Just put more effort into it. And I mean, I'm scared of them, so that's probably why they never show what? themselves. You're scared of energy blobs? Yes. Excuse me. Be scared that you can't see them. Oh. Not scared to see them. That means you're connected to anything and everyone protects you if you want to call out somebody. Like Jesus. I see now. Perfect. I'm really supernatural. Oh, what's the matter, baby? He's so really crazy. Crazy. He wants your daddy. He's such a problem, Poppy. Right. Mother nursing your uh, let's see third fourth fifth. your fifth house is in Scorpio your sixth house is in Sagittarius so your animal traveling stuff I don't know and higher learning expansion with relationship with animals as your sixth house and also everyday routine is like you freaking fucking going on adventures and moving around and stuff yeah I just go with flow. And traveling or something. Is that what I you do? Travel, so is that all you do? Like yeah, every day? Much. Every day is a six house adventure. I never stay in one spot for very long. There you go. Six house side serious. Evidence. <laughs> Bad, I suppose. I think this is the longest I've ever, ever been in this town. And your seventh house is Capricorn. And you think, like, everyone who's different from you is, like, serious and takes every word of value and literally and like oh, it's hard working and you're like i'm so different from that that's nothing like me but in secret it kind of is like your reputation your career like you think that everyone that you attract is these kind of business like people or whatever and then is that true or false because i don't really know because <laughs> it's kind of in a way i think that might be true but in a way not 
Okay. More like I expect everybody to fuck me over in the end. Oh, like your dad. Because it's happened so much. Like people like your dad? You mm-hmm. keep on attracting people like your dad? Because mm-hmm. that's what's in Saturn Capricorn and your seventh house Capricorn. That's a shadow self, so you're secretly like your dad, but you're nothing like the people like your dad, but you keep on attracting them. That's what it says, I guess. Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> and my mother. Oh, your mama. Well. Well, that's that for right now. Doodle, it blue. Thank you ever so kindly. Show in the room. Okay, what am I saying? Nothing, toodaloo. Anything you want to say? Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Right.